Karen Elizabeth and Chris Grundy. Urban Lifestyle. This week we are in Filey, Primrose Valley, in a private hired caravan we got from Caravans for Hire. So let's take a look at our caravan. Mm, can't wait. So let's take you on a little tour around this caravan. Number 20, Laurel Rise. Hello, me. Let's open the door. Welcome. In we go. This is a dog friendly caravan. Crystal, Chico, our two lesser so doggies. So let's take a look. We'll start into what we see is a little bathroom. What's well, a toilet, a sink, and a mirror. And a nice roll of blind for privacy. Now I'm going to the next room, which will be ah here we have another sink, lovely clean toilet. Let's have a look around, and a nice shower. Look at that big shower, big shower there. Going to go next. So it's two toilets next to each other. Which is pretty good, I say. Next, we're going to go into. We have a two single beds, both bed space to put your jumpers, t-shirts, plenty of room there, little light, net curtains for privacy, which is very good. A wardrobe. Is this a wardrobe? Oh yeah, little wardrobe for the children and a. Another, another mirror. Oh, very good. Come on, Crystal. Come on. Do you want you following me? Come on then. Let's level look into the next bedroom. What have we got here? We have another two beds. Looks like the same as the other room. Plenty of wardrobe space. Do they? A sleeping bag, actually, that isn't it? Yeah, net curtain throughout, looks like. Lots and lots of storage space. Shall we have a look in? Oh, Chris was taking us on the tour, aren't you? Hey, you too, Chica. That's it, let's go in this room. Let's see what we have in this room. So I'll tell you right round. Bedside cabinet. Overhead storage, mirror, mirrors everywhere. Then we have a wardrobe area which has got extra quilts in, air dryer, fans. We have a Hoover. A lot of caravans don't have Hoovers, and what we really need an ironing board. That's it. Right. And then you can see they've got radiators in every room as well, so it's a bit cold. You can uh, put the heat in on. Let's go through. So now we're coming to the kitchen area. Oh, we've got some hooks to put your goats on. And we also have for your keys. We have cupboards. Lots of cupboards. This nice cooker, very clean looking too. Checking the oven, shall we? Are you looking at the Chico? Oh yes, there we go. Look how that looks so clean. Oh, let's look in the cupboard, shall we? Oh, plenty of plastic picnic plates and glasses. Your crockery, a bread bin. Oh, that's a good, very good kettle. Very good. What have we got in here? Oh, all your tea, coffee, sugars. You should need them. We have this up here. More and more and more and more and more. Cups, glasses. Show you down here. This is nice for privacy. Sink, 
draining board, microwave, another storage area. Even got a kitchen roll too. Have a look what's in here. First aid kit. Lots and lots of menus reaching out. Very good. We'll go into this area. We have a toaster. Let's see. We have another toaster behind us. We've got two sliced toaster. Chico's checking that out. And we have a four slice toaster. You see that Chico? Pans, egg cup holders, another kettle in case that one breaks down. We'll check what's in the extra area, shall we? Come on then. We've got cutlery drawer, plenty of wine corkscrews. I think we all need one of them. We're on our holidays, aren't we? Carving knives. All sorts in there. Coffee maker. Ooh, never coffee maker somewhere. Even got needle and cotton in case you need that. And another mitt and a tea towel in there as well. So this is where you sit for your your meals. Got a nice fruit bowl. Lovely seasidey tablecloth. Posters, placemats. As you can see, there's blinds I see all throughout here, which is very nice for privacy. There's a fire, okay, for them colder nights. Nice plants. Let's have a look what this says. Home. This were the heart is. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, look at this. All around. It's a nice view outside. It's lovely. View all around. Looks like a nice comfy couch. And Crystal will agree with this. What are you, Crystal? Cushions, nice cushions. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's very good. Chico's nice and comfortable. I think he'll be okay here for the week, won't you? You will. Carpet. Very clean carpet. See, this is a pet friendly caravan. And then we can see we have a bit. Ooh, look at that. We've got storage down there. TV. Big TV too. Watch your YouTube or your normal channels. Free Wi Fi. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, that's good, so, oh, look up here, not a bit of dust in sight, not a bit of dust, look at this, Let's show you the view all around, take you to the outside, see the seating areas we have here, this size is veranda. Wow, it's massive. Absolutely massive. Very, very private caravan. You can see. It's veranda here. Show you come all the way around. It's a Sierra. Will it be holiday home? Very nice outside light. And then it's got this lovely outside seating area. Very nice. And this is Haven. We're all right, right, rise. 20. Yeah. <clears throat> I just found out all the garden and cushions, etc., for the chairs. Yeah. Are under the under the beds in the kids' room. Ah, very good. Yeah. And extra seating was there? There is. There's, there are the fold out chairs, you know, the. Not sun lounges, but plenty of. No sun lounges. They say emergency chairs. Just in case you're having one of those big get togethers. <laughs> so, as I said before, this is from Caravans for Hire. Um, we've not been paid for this, by the way. This is our own holiday. This is just 
a little review of this little caravan which uh, is an eight berth caravan you can actually turn the city into a bed also yeah so all in all it so looks so clean doesn't yeah, it yeah so it's, clean it's a bonny caravan yeah Chico and Crystal look like they're very settled in well. I think yeah, they're will, sprawled out on the couches. I think we'll yeah. all be sprawling out so, very shortly. I guess we're good to go with that. So, right. if you've enjoyed this little tour of 20 Laurel Rise at Primrose Valley, finally, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell. And just to say, we have got some more vlogs coming up on the beach we're going to do some taste testing mm. um so look out for them me too uh, that will be titled pink food food reviews pink beach sorry you say it quite wrong there pink beach food reviews <laughs> we'll get it in the right you way we're, we're tired we've uh, traveled for a while check so out the links You'll check find out them. the links thanks a lot see you again take Ta care